Hi, welcome back. This is day five of two-step equations. So we've done adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. We've done different combinations of the different operations. And today we're gonna do a new combination. We're gonna do problems that have multiplication and division in them. So what I'm talking about is a problem that would look like this. 4x divided by two. This means four times x divided by two. You have two different operations going on and you're going to want to start with, if you guessed it, division, because that will help us get rid of the fraction. It's a lot easier if you don't have the fraction anymore to do a simple one-step equation from there. So we're gonna start with the division. Let's look at an example. So move that block and um, we've got here three times x, so there's our times, divided by four. We're going to work with the division first, which means we're going to multiply by four. The four and the four will make one, four divided by four there. So you get three x is equal to, multiply this side by four, 36, divide both sides by three, and x equals nine. I'm just gonna rewrite that for. Okay, so that is one example. Let's look at another example. So you can see here there's multiplication and division. We said we're going to start with the division. We're gonna do the inverse operation. So we're gonna times everything by three. This three, when you multiply a fraction by its denominator, it the result will be whatever the numerator is. So in this case, it's 5x. And then we're going to times this side by 3. And we're going to get 5x equals 30. Now, after you've done so many of these, you're probably starting to see, oh, 5x equals 30. I know what that is. I know that 5 times 6 equals 30. So you're probably being able to start doing some of this with mental math, which... That's great. I really hope you're getting to that place. So then we're going to divide both sides by 5. We're running out of room here. So we're going to get x equals 6. See that? x equals 6. Sorry, that has to kind of be over to the side. So um, yeah, that's how you do this type of problem. And remember, you're going to want to get rid of the fraction first. The fraction is division, so you do the inverse operation to both sides. And then you'll be left with multiplication and you do the inverse operation to both sides, which is division. It, it can sound confusing, but if you, if you just take a deep breath, you can do this. It's, it's just steps, it's just these little rules that you have to follow. So yeah, um, good luck out there with the practice. You got this and bye.